How do you feel about legends? If positive, then hurry up to enjoy their poetic charm because the world is gradually becoming less and less secret and unexplored. For example, the American Space Agency, NASA, with enviable persistence debunking myths, sending to all ends of the universe unmanned probes. Eight years ago, the reality broke another legend that the satellite of distant Pluto, Charon, named in honor of the ancient guide of souls in the realm of the dead, is an unsightly dwarf tormented by eroded remnants of craters. But the New Horizons probe in 2015 showed Earthlings a rather unexpected picture. It turned out that Charon is a very interesting object, covered with colorful landslides, giant mountain chains, bottomless canyons, and a bloody red polar cap. In 1978, could James Christie have imagined that a tiny dot that looked like an extension of Pluto is actually a full-fledged celestial body with a rich topography. Before the New Horizons probe approached Pluto and Charon, even the sizes of these objects were in the approximate range. The satellite's possible cryovolcanism was not boldly hypothesized, it was suggested that there is a global ocean beneath the crust, but nothing was really known. The interplanetary space probe has put everything in its place. Since 2015, we have learned hundreds of times more about Charon than before. However, the information, due to the great distance of the object, comes to Earth with a significant delay. Therefore, given the time it takes to process the data, we are still waiting for a lot of discoveries. What is this unthinkably distant alien moon? Charon is a celestial body with a diameter of only 1,212 kilometers, a comparative characterization of the planetoid with the Earth and the Moon clearly demonstrates the tiny size of Pluto's satellite. Around the parent object, which is much brighter than its moon, Charon rotates on its axis in six days, and it happens not from the position of planet satellite, but from the point of view of the common center of mass. By the way, because of the same barycenter, perhaps the Pluto-Charon system will soon be called a double planet. The bodies are about 18,000 kilometers one from the other. That is, Pluto's horizon is impossible without the silhouette of Charon. Both planetoids are constantly turned to one side of each other and appear visually stationary in their neighbor's sky. Once every 124 years, Charon's orbit is at a point between Pluto and the Sun, which is when multiple eclipses occur. The last series of spectacular events lasted for five years, with a periodicity of once every three days. And what can be said about the surface of the satellite? The New Horizons spacecraft approached the Plutonian moon at a distance of almost 29,000 kilometers. As soon as Earth astronomers observed it well, Charon involuntarily turned into a fantasy world where the gloomy area of Mordor, the mysterious rift valley of Nostromo, the Kubrick Mountains, and the crater of Darth Vader peacefully neighbor. All of the above names have official status and are mapped by an interplanetary probe. Regarding the names of details of the surface of Charon, the members of the International Astronomical Union agreed that all names of planetary relief objects are borrowed from fantasy books or movies, characters, ships, voyages. The use of surnames of artists and writers is also allowed. How does the landscape of Charon look through the prism of the eyepieces of New Horizons? Taking a closer look at the celestial wanderer probe recorded a 1,000-kilometer crack covering one of the hemispheres of the satellite. 
It looks like a titanic break in the crust of the celestial body, caused by unknown causes. The crack is framed by a ridge of high rocks, but there are very few craters on the surface, suggesting that this moon is relatively young. But perhaps the most memorable location on Charon is the Mordor region. It's a huge dark red spot at the planet's North Pole. The Mordor region is thought to have formed because of extremely low temperatures. Scientists explain that Charon systematically steals the remains of methane-nitrogen atmospheric layers of neighbor Pluto. In summer, they evaporate, leaving behind only heavy compounds, which together with ultraviolet color this area in a characteristic purple hue. What else is Charon capable of impressing? On its relatively small area, you can see a canyon of incredible size, about nine kilometers deep. That is, it could fit Mount Everest in its entirety. But on the dark body of the satellite, there are failures and more impressive, their depth reaches 14 kilometers. Yes, this is almost like the deepness of Mariana Trench. By the way, vague guesses of scientists about the presence of an under-ice ocean on Charon, confirmed and new horizons, having fixed in the spectrum of the satellite ammonia hydrates. Solar rays and harsh cosmic radiation should have destroyed them, but it did not happen. The reason for the discrepancy may be a reservoir hidden under the frozen crust. And the last sensation, you will be surprised, but on the dead Charon, there is a change of seasons, although very peculiar. Winter, as well as summer, lasts for 100 years. Frosts on the satellite are notorious, reaching minus 258 degrees of Celsius. It is comforting that in summer, it is much warmer, only minus 213 degrees of Celsius. Pluto's satellite turned out to be so unusual that orbital missions are dynamically planned at the moment, so that the apparatus being near for a long time can take a closer look at the relief of the planetoid, as well as study its structure in detail. Where is New Horizons now? The AMS has long left the inseparable planetary pair and is rapidly plunging into the embrace of the Kuiper Belt. On the way, the probe is awaiting a multitude of asteroids inhabiting the territory of the huge Taurus, with a radius of 25 astronomical units. While the orbital mission is under preparation, let's try to reflect on space topics and refresh our knowledge of the universe. To energize your intellectual baggage, complete the phrase, I know that. For example, I know that the Earth is the third planet of the solar system and further on by analogy. And for now, Hubble will leave viewers for a while to create some new exciting videos like subscribe and recommend us to your friends. Stay tuned.